Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It is your girl, Sinquanta Cox Smith of www.sinquantacoxsmith.com. Smile for me. So today I am going to do product design for an all over print on the site art of wear. So um, depending on the size of the product, I'll either be using Canva and or over by GoDaddy. So these are the two options that I'm going to use. Also, as most of you know that Canva, you can only desi design up to like 5,000 by 5,000 and over you can get a pretty big P uh, pixels uh, design there. So those are the options that I will be designing on. Again, out of where is like a uh, integration fulfillment center where they ship from Canada and you can integrate your website with a few different websites. If you missed that video, make sure you just type in my name, Sinquanta, and then um, the words out of where to actually see that video, how you can set up the website and a actual review on some of the products. All right, so let's go ahead and jump into the video. Here is the website out of where, and make sure you guys subscribe to my channel. Um, they have a list of their products here. They have skirts, underwear, leggings, kitty, um, kitty leggings, crop tops, athletic crop tops, kimonos, and um, some more things like that. I am so here's the children's apparel, the like the baby leggings, youth leggings, um, accessories. I'm trying to think. I think today I am going to do the zipper carry all. So I'm going to go ahead up to the top and hit start creating. Um, note that I am already logged into my account, so I don't have any issues there. I'm already logged in. All right, so I'm going to scroll over to accessories and I am going to scroll down to, I don't know, now I got, I'm going to do the makeup bag. So here it tells me what size that the makeup bag um, needs to be. And I can actually do this in Canva if I want. Um, so I think I'm actually going to do two designs. So I can do it in Canva because of the size that it is. So I'm going to go ahead and to create custom. It says 2551. So I'm going to put 2551. And I'm also going to do 2551 here in over. So I'll be designing in both. But I just want to go ahead and put it in there first. And then 1679. So put 1679 pixels here and on this one. So I'm going to design in each. Um, and then I will, so I hit create new. So then you can go ahead and upload. You have a front and back. So I'm going to hit uh, create a new design. Already did that here. Already got the pixels here. Ours go down to 10, like, so I can see it on one style. So I'm going to choose like a minty green. I have one that I like to use. And I think I want to do like, um, I don't want to do floral, but let's see. What's some other? Oh, maybe a flamingo. Let's see. Ooh, perfect. So this is super cute. So I'm going to choose this flamingo and I am going to line it up, um, basically going across here like that. I might move this up a little bit because I wanted to kind of like go in the corner part. So let's see, so I'm trying to line this up. Really nice where it kind of goes straight across the screen. That looks good. Um, and then is this another one from that flamingo family? So that seems to be like a lighter color. Or maybe I'll just do one by itself. So then that way I can, it's not like hard to get the actual like flamingo image going so i'm just going to place these in different spots sort of kind of try to fill up the screen and then i'll probably go in with like some leafy stuff so that looks good there just really trying to get a you know a decent 
look with the flamingos. And maybe I can do one more over here where it's like not off the screen. Okay. So you just kind of line it up however you want. And I can go here and I can see all. So they have these and they're basically what it's showing me is that they're kind of all from the same people. So um, I was just seeing if they had like any greenery by itself. So I'm going to, but they have this, but that would look weird. So I'm going to do uh, palm leaves, look that up. And then I'll just try to find a color that I like, maybe this one. And I can do that one too, and kind of just add them in there in like different spots. So just like to fill some space. You gotta turn it and like fix it wherever you can. So I'm just gonna add these in like little spots wherever I can. Get another one over here and just like a peak there. And maybe do a little, I'll probably have to curve this a little bit to get like a little bit right here. Then I'll do another one of these leaves right here. And then I'll put another one right above here. So that'll kind of even out the color scheme of this all over design. So I like this. Again, it does not have to be amazing. And I'm just gonna name this Flamingo Palm uh, Makeup. Did I do a makeup bag? Yeah, makeup bag. And then I'm going to download it as a PNG, not with a transparent background because I want the green. Okay, so then I'm going to go over to um, over <laughs> and I'm going to look for graphic designs. Um, I have lots of free elements. Um, so let's just see what we can find. Let's do a fruit. So. Let's do strawberries. And let's see what we can find. But we want them to be free. <laughs> so we're gonna find some free, free fruits or something. What's this, a tropical bundle? Don't want that, don't like that. Um, donuts. That could work. So let's find a background color. Um, for this and I'll probably do pink just because pink and donuts just sound good so let's find a uh, pink go up a little bit to get a brighter pink there we go and we have this donut here Yeah, I just really want to get some work done and everybody want to knock on my damn door. <sighs> All right, so I'm going to move these donuts around. I'm just going to hit duplicate. Kind of cat a corner them a little bit. Give me a nice little design. And I think... Okay, so now I can like copy this and hit duplicate, copy it, duplicate, and that just makes life so much easier. And you can do this. Instead of trying to, you know, keep going by yourself. And you can do more than three at a time. It's up to you, however you design. This is just my way of doing it. It does not make it right. It just, this is just how I'm doing it, okay? I just want people to know that you do not have to do anything that I do. The main part of this is being able to get on the website and find out the information that you need, how to upload, what certain tools to use, and that's it. Everything else is like, you just basically, 
use what you need and forget I even said anything else about the other stuff. If it's, if it's definitely not something that you need. I always want people to use their own judgments um, and do things, get things done the way that you need to get it done. I'm not the end all be all when it comes to this industry. You can learn from me from 10 different people if you want. That's your business. So when I, when I talk about stuff, I'm always teaching from my experience. There's plenty of people who have a different experience than me. Some better, some worse. Again, you're your own judge and jury. You don't have to do anything you don't want to do. But I think this donut came out amazing. So I'm going to name this AOW Donut Makeup Bag. And then I'm going to go ahead and hit the export button. And then I'm going to go back over to Out of Wear. I'm going to hit upload images and go ahead and upload my two, my donuts and my flamingo and hit open. So it's going to ask me which one I want to upload. We're going to do the flamingo first. So we have the flamingo here. This is on the back. Let's see what that looks like. I think oh, that looks pretty good. And remember, you can move it to where you want it. If I want more of this on there like that, that's fine. And then for the other side, make sure I got that right. Where the line is, I'm going to hit upload image again and hit that. And then it just basically gave me another one. I want to flip this so that it's upright on the front so that the flamingos are you know upright so I have that there so I'm going to look at the back the left the right and I'm assuming the bottom is either what you see right here okay um and this is again just like the little 3d view of the flamingo bag super cute in my opinion okay oh cancel I didn't mean to do that so I'm going to go back out and then I am just going to, what does this say? Okay. What's not covered? Maybe killing me sometimes. So I just spread this out just a tad bit more. I'm just trying to say it's not covered. So clearly it is. So I just moved it out a little bit. So I'm going to save product. And this will tell you if your DPI is low. If the template isn't covered, all of that. So we have a flamingo makeup bag. And again, there's another picture of your makeup bag. Super cute, came out cute. And I wanna hit save. And then it says you just can unlock one makeup bag 20% off. So I completed a goal and maybe the goal is possibly uploading something so i'm going to hit keep designing so i am going to oh matter of fact i'm going to delete these and then since i'm already on the makeup bag i'll just upload the other one my donuts there and now hit upload again and hit the donuts and move this one over to that side um i don't let me see is that the front let me see what the back looks like so this is the back and what I'll do is I'll have the back flipped so the donuts look like they're dripping. So the DPI looks good. This is the one that I created in over. So that might be also something that you should look into because it says the DPI is better. Here, I'm, I can remember if you could like change the DPI in Canva, but obviously here, um, the quality is really good for this actual design. So that's perfect here. Let me see. Go to the canvas size. Yeah, so it's probably better to get better quality in made by over with Canva because it shows like the DPI is really good. So you can look at the left, <coughs> excuse me guys, and then the right, and then you hit save product. So this is super cute and I'm just going to do donut makeup bag. So again, 
really good quality, crisp, and I'm going to hit save. All right, so I finish. Um, I don't know what the photo lab is, so or I can go to order this product. So I can go ahead and order the donut makeup bag. Um, and it has large, so small, and then large. You can do zipper pull. You can make it black. So if I wanted the zipper pull to be black, like the little added on, um, the zipper can be black nickel or it says white brass. So you have the option to do that there. So there you go if you wanted that. So let's see. And the zipper pull none. So and if I add it to the cart, then it would be in my cart. So I'm gonna close this and then see what photo lab is. Okay, so here's a custom preview. So I'll go ahead and save this picture so that I can use it for my thumbnail <laughs> but that's basically what the photo lab is because i wanted to see what it was so i'm going to hit exit design because i don't have anything else i want to design and if i go over here i see that um it's in my cart here so i'm deleting the other stuff that i had so it's i can add the artist card i can add the sticker and basically it's just what i created for my actual art of wear store when purchasing some something for somebody so you see that it's $17 and of course whatever the shipping will be so that is just something that you guys can look forward to and say I have one reward again I think this is something new so it says what rewards you will be able to apply your reward to your order when you go to check out so I guess I can you get the 25% off one of the makeup bags for creating it um, so here are like the goals here and yeah, I guess makeup bag was on there. And oh, so accessories. So I guess if I create one, I get a certain discount. So that is something good to know as well. So stationary cards and notebooks, they all have certain ones. So if I was to go check out, I would probably get 25% off of this. I'm gonna go ahead, make sure you, oh. Um, I'm just going to, I probably have my old address on here. So I'm just going to have that on there. My old address is there. I don't live there anymore. So I'm not worried about y'all seeing that. <laughs> um, and trying to see where you would add it to. So proceed to check out, save, billing address updated. Okay. So here. I would add the 25% off to the makeup bag and I will hit add it. So it goes from $21 to seven, like almost the same price of the actual product. So um, shipping is 472 and then you can PayPal credit card or um, PayPal. So that's just good information to know if you wanted to order one of your products that you created on out of war, uh, out of wear, like for a, um, just for a sample for yourself, know that by creating certain things, you can get percentage off. So I showed you guys today how to create a makeup bag all over print and out of wear. Um, and we use Canva and over to create our all over print. I hope this video was helpful for you. My goal is to show you guys how to create and design for different products on different websites that I've already talked about so that you can get ideas. Note that nothing that i am creating are products that i sell so don't worry i i won't worry about you guys taking the ideas because i won't sell them at all <laughs> um so i never normally show what i do and niches that i work in so um because it gets a little confusing i know you guys can be super in inspired by uh people doing things so um try to find your own groove and your own design uh style so that you can be successful in the print on demand business because designing and creating just like someone else will only leave you um lost because you'll be trying to figure out well how do they make sales and i design just like them it's not about designing like them it's because they've probably worked on their craft and they know their audience so design for your audience and find your own des design style and your own voice just like if you were a writer you would need to write for your own audience in your own voice. So I hope this video was super helpful. It's probably a little bit long, 
but let me know if you guys like the longer videos and until next time i love you more than love this video peace